Hey, what's up, people of YouTube? Ryder here. Uh, my KLR is in need of pretty much just a tune-up. So today, I thought I'd show you my four-wheel transportation. This is the Honda CRV 2013 model. Um, this was actually my first car. My folks paid for part of it, and I paid for the other parts. Um, pretty much. This is the stellar looks of the vehicle. Um, I do, I did figure out I have the tiniest back window though, so they gave me um, like one of those backup cameras. Those are the wheels that come with the base model. Um, truth be told, I already messed up this car. Uh, you can tell right there. I went off roading and I hit a piece of earth. And when your car hits earth, earth will win the fight. And that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, what I noticed is that the new CRVs or just SUVs in general, just out there, they're getting very less like sharp. Like it's less square. Like the Suburban is a pretty hardcore looking vehicle. Mine is a city fied SUV vehicle. My ground clearance is really not bad. It's good enough for most of what you're gonna do. Just don't be going over major rocks thinking you're in a jeep like I did, because I'm an idiot. And I'm an idiot for leaving the door locked. This is where I am today, the usual lake area. I actually never knew this awesome place was out here. And uh, I've pretty much been, not hardcore off-roading, I'll call it soft-roading. I've been soft-roading for the better part of this morning. I was just bored after I dropped uh, my sister off to school. And um, I wanted to show you guys that symbol. Let's try that again. Right there. The one right above the brake that flashed. It looks like a seal with a ball. Um, and then I checked them out. It turns out it's a person with an airbag in their lap. And that just baffled me because I really thought it was a seal with a ball and I didn't know what it meant. Um, there's the amount of miles I did today. And currently it is 50 something degrees outside. It's pretty chilly for Florida, but nothing a hoodie can't handle. That's pretty much my average fuel range as of right now. And uh, someone, can you see that on camera? It's pretty focusing on that. It says hi on my back camera with a little heart, and I'm like, who did that? I don't have no idea. Um, pretty much it's the base model, so nothing super fancy, but it's actually pretty good for me. Most other people out there just starting out have those cars with dents in it and whatnot. But this isn't too bad. I actually wanted a bigger car, but this will do just fine. Um, pretty much it is automatic. I know all you manual guys out there love it, but I wanted automatic just because I'll be doing a lot of city driving. Not too much leather, but I will say seats are way comfier from the base model ones. Doors are plastic so I can just wipe off any mud that gets on them. And I leave my rear seats down, that way it's kind of like a pickup and I have this big load floor. Um, I guess I can put my bike in it or whatever. Um, it doesn't feel super powerful. This is essentially the car version of a KLR 650. Um, and trust me on this, guys. The KLR is kind of the SUV of bikes. Well, this is the very, like, SUV of cars. Um, it's not super roomy or anything, but you do have quite a bit of room. I can fit, like, bikes and whatnot back there. Um, the engine feel is KLR-esque. It's not... It doesn't feel super fast, although you will hit those highway speeds easy. What it does feel like is it feels torquey down low. So that's why I'm pretty much off-roading today. Um, let me know what you think of the CRV, guys, and keep on riding.